Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Hello Grade 8 students! It's me again, Ma'am Catherine Advincola from Dalandana National High School. Welcome to PE Time with Ma'am Cat. Before we start our lesson, let us be reminded of our FB Live streaming etiquette. Are you excited to learn class? That's great! Let me present first the most essential learning competencies that you are about to learn today. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to First, execute the skills involved in the sports. Second, display tolerance and acceptance of individuals with varying skills and abilities. In the previous lesson, you have learned about indoor recreational activities, particularly chess. You have also learned the history, skills, and the benefits of playing chess. Let's first have a review on the previous topic in PE. I have a word scramble game here. All you need to do is to unscramble the letters to guess the correct words or words. You will be given 10 seconds in each item. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one. Nice guess. The answer is Bishop. Number two. You got it right. The correct answer is queen. Number three. Hurry learners, the clock is ticking. Excellent guess. The answer is night. Number four. Time is running. Comment your answer now. The answer is King. Good job. Number five. The correct answer is checkmate. Good job, class! It shows that you master and understand the previous topic in physical education. Before we proceed to our new topic for today, let's check first your prior knowledge by answering this activity, Guess the Word. Just guess the specific word or words that fits the picture presented and write your answer in the comment section. You will be given 10 seconds in each item. Are you ready? Let's get started.
Great job, class! I think you are all excited and ready to learn something new about indoor recreational activities. Let's recall first the meaning of indoor recreational activities. These are voluntarily undertaken for pleasure, exercise, relaxation, and leisure. It is one way of rejuvenating the mind and body. This can be done or performed inside the room or inside the house. It requires less space, hence can be managed behind the door. Aside from dominoes and chess, Scrabble is one of the popular games that can be played anywhere at our most convenient time. Scrabble is a word game played by two or four players to score points by forming words from individual lettered tiles on a game board marked by a 15 by 15 grid. It is a mind game that requires a wide vocabulary. Let's find out its brief history. In 1931, Alfred Mosherbotz, an architect, translated his lifelong love of crossword puzzle into a board game. Bots initially called the game Lexico, but later changed the name to Crisscross Words. Eventually, in 1948, he sold the rights to entrepreneur and game lover James Bruno. He redesigned and renamed the game Scrabble, meaning to grow frantically, from a Dutch word schraben, meaning to scrape or scratch. In 1954, it was first sold in Great Britain. This game is very easy to learn, but first, we need some materials like Scrabble board. It measures 15 cells high and 15 cells wide, a total of 225 squares and has a special cell for special points. Next is a bag of Scrabble tiles. It can be made of wood, ivory, or synthetic materials. There are 100 Scrabble tiles in total, 98 containing letters and two blank tiles. Then a Scrabble rock. This is where chosen letters or tiles are placed and wherein words are formed before putting into the Scrabble board. Last but not the least, we need a pen and paper where we put our scores to monitor and to determine the winner at the end of the game. Let's talk further about the premium squares of Scrabble board. These are the color-coded squares and have specific values. For the premium word squares, we have the double word score. It doubles the score of the word when one of the letters is placed on it. And for the triple word score, it triples the score of the word when one of the letters is placed on it. While the premium letter squares, we have the double letter score doubles the value of the letter placed on it and the triple letter score triples the value of the letter placed on it. Remember to count the premium letter score before doubling or tripling the premium word score. Now for the point values of each Scrabble tile, we have a blank tile that is unmarked and carries no point value. The blank tiles can be used as substitute for any letter. One point value for the letters A, E, I, O, U, L, N, R, S, and T. We have two point value for the letters D and G. 3 points value for the letters B, C, M, and P. For the letters F, H, V, W, and Y, the value is 4 points. 5 points value for the letter K only. 8 points for letter J and X. And 10 points for the letters Q and Z. Wow, this is cool and challenging, isn't it, class? For those who love word games, 
This game is for you. Before we continue exploring the game, let us understand the benefits of playing Scrabble. First, it lowers the risk of mental illness. Second, it makes you happy. Third, it reduces blood pressure. Fourth, it improves the immune system. And fifth, it improves memory and vocabulary. Playing Scrabble also provides opportunities to build language skills, improve mental capabilities, and develop desirable attitudes. These benefits will develop more if you directly engage in the game with your family and friends. Are you ready to play class? That's great! We have three parts in order to play Scrabble successfully. The first part is preparing to play. Before you begin your game, number one, make sure that you have everything you need to play Scrabble. You will need a game board, 100 letter tiles, one letter rock for each player, and a cloth bag to hold the letter tiles. You will also need one to three or four other people to play with. Number two, choose a dictionary to use for challenges. It is possible that during the course of your game, someone will play a word that another player believes is invalid. In a situation like this, you will need to look up to the word in the dictionary. Make sure that you have a dictionary or a mobile device with a Scrabble checker up on hand to deal with challenges. Number three, put the tiles in the bag and shake them, also known as count tile. To make sure that the letters are distributed fairly, put them into the bag, close it, and shake them around a bit. Number four, determine who goes first. Pass the bag around the table and allow each player to draw one tile. Then, Place your tiles face up on the table. The player with the letter that is closest to the letter A gets to go first. Put these letters back into the bag and shuffle them again before drawing tiles. If any player draws a blank tile, he or she will start the game. Number 5. Draw your tiles. Beginning with the person who drew, the tile closest to A allow the player to take 7 tiles. Hold the bag above eye level so that you can see the tiles. Do not show these tiles to your fellow players. Just put them onto your tile rack and pass the bag to the next player until everyone has drawn their letters. Now, let's proceed to the second part, playing the game. Number 1, play the first word. The player who chooses the letter closest to A gets to play the first word. The word must use at least two tiles and it must place across the star square in the center of the board. The word can be laid out in a vertical or horizontal fashion, but it cannot be diagonal. When calculating the first word score, keep in mind that the player who places the first word gets to double his or her total score because the star counts as premium square with a double word bonus. For example, if the total value of the first word played was 10, then the player would receive a score of 20. Number 2. Count up your points. After you have put down a word, make sure that you count up your points. Add up the points on the lower right corner of each of the tiles you have laid down. If you place a tile on a premium square, adjust your score as indicated the premium square. For example, if you place a word over a square that says double word, then you should double the total value of your word. If you place a tile over a square that says double letter, then 
you should double the value of the letter tile only when you calculate your score. Number three, draw new tiles. After each of your turns, you will need to draw as many new tiles as you just played. For example, if you played six of your tiles to form a word during your turn, then you need to draw six new tiles at the end of your turn. Place these new tiles on your rock and pass the bag to the next player. Number four, build on other players' words. On your next turn, you will have to add onto the words that your opponents have just played. That means that you cannot just create a freestanding word on the board. All of the tiles must be connected. As you build onto the words that your opponents have played, make sure that you considered all of the connected tiles. Your addition to the board must create at least one new word. But if you connect to other tiles from other directions, then you need to make sure that you are creating valid words with these connections. Number five, use your tiles to get the highest score possible per turn. It is a good idea to consider multiple plays during each of your turns and to go with the play that will gain you the most points. Look for the opportunities to incorporate premium squares and high-value letters like Z and Q into your plates. Available premium squares include double letter score, double word score, triple letter score, and triple word score. Number six, challenge other players to dispute a word. If you think that a player has played a word that does not exist or that another player has misspelled a word, then you can challenge that player. When you challenge a player, you look up the word in the dictionary. If the word is in the dictionary and the player has spelled it correctly, then the word stays and the player gets the points. The challenger loses his or her turn. If the word is not in the dictionary or the player has spelled it incorrectly, then the player must remove the word from the board. The player gains no points and loses the turn. 7. Exchange tiles you don't want. At some point during the game, you may decide that you want to change some or all of your tiles for new ones. You can use a turn to get new tiles. Just discard the tiles that you no longer want in the bag. Shuffle the bag and draw the number of tiles that you discarded. Just keep in mind that you cannot play a word in addition to drawing new tiles. This will count as your turn. Finally, we are now in the last part. Scoring. Number one, keep score as you go. It is important to keep a careful tally of each player's scores as you play. Each player should announce his or her score after adding it up. Then the scorekeeper should write it down right away. Number two, watch for premium score squares. Premium squares will alter your word scores. So pay attention to this when you play words. You can only use the bonus from a premium square if you laid the tile over the square during the current turn. You cannot incorporate bonuses from premium squares that you already counted in a different turn or that were counted by a different player. Number three, get 50 points added to your word score if you get a bingo, also known as a bonus. A bingo is when you use all seven of your tiles to play a word. When this happens, you should add up the total value of your word plus any bonuses game from premium squares and then add up 50 points. Number four, add up each player's scores at the end of the game. 
After all the players have exhausted their tiles or cannot play any more words, add up each player's points total. As the scorekeeper adds the total, each player should let him or her know the points value if any of the tiles he or she has left over. Deduct his value from each player points total to determine each player's final score. Number 5. Announce the winner. After the scorekeeper has added each player's scores and deducted the values of any unused tiles, he or she may announce the winner. The person who has the highest score wins the game. Second place goes to the person with the second highest score, and so on. There you have it. You already have some tips and knowledge on how to play Scrabble with your family and friends. For your activity, answer these observation skills. Bring out your paper and pen and write numbers 1 to 10. Directions, complete the table by checking observe or not observe on the space provided. You'll be given 15 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Okay, timer starts now. Time is up! Now, I want you to send your answers on this activity to your MAPE teacher. Participating in this leisure and in their recreational activities can foster a range of positive benefits including opportunities for health, well-being, and quality lifestyle for the community and personal development, expression, Creativity, individuality, social, physical, and intellectual abilities. And most of all, close family relationships. It's quiz time! Now that you have learned the concepts of this lesson, let's put your knowledge to the test. Answer the following questions by choosing the letter of the correct answer. You may write your answer in the comment section below. And you will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number 1. Which of the following Scrabble tiles has a value of 5 points? Choices are A, D, B, H, C, K, D, X. Timer starts now. Time is up. Good job. The correct answer is letter C, K. Number two. Scrabble is played with exactly blank tiles. Choices are A, 50, B, 100, C-110, D-150. Timer starts now. Time is up. Amazing class. The correct answer is letter B-100. Number 3. What is the color of the cells on the Scrabble board that corresponds to a triple word score? A. Light blue B. Dark blue C. Light red D. Dark red Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is letter D. Dark red. Excellent answer. Number 4. An opponent calls for blank. When he thinks a play is not acceptable. Choices are A. Blocking B. Bluffing C. Challenge D. Duplication 
Timer starts now. Time is up. Great. The answer is letter C. Challenge. Number five. How many bonus points will be given if a player is able to place all seven tiles on the board at the same time? A. 50 B. 55 C. 75 D. 100 Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is letter A. 50 Congratulations! I know you have gained a lot of knowledge, skills, and value formation on this topic. Before we end this lesson, let me present your performance test in PE this third quarter. It's entitled, Let's Play Scrabble. You will enjoy this activity because it will improve vocabulary, build camaraderie, and strengthen the bond with your family as well. For the mechanics, you have two options to choose from. Option 1. Number 1. Prepare your Scrabble materials. Board, bag of tiles, and rocks. Number 2. Invite 2 to 3 members of your family or friends to play Scrabble with you. Number 3. Set your camera into time lapse and record your actual game. And number 4. Send your output to your MAPE teacher. Option 2, you can play Scrabble online at www.games.com greater than word games where you can find different word games. Screen record your actual game and see to it that your face is projected while playing. You may select easy, medium, or difficult mode in playing. Number four, send your output to your MAPE teacher. And here's the rubric for your guide. Good luck class and enjoy playing. Once again, this is Mam Kat, your PE teacher sharing this simple quote from Diane Eckerman. Play is our brain's favorite way of learning. Stay healthy and be fit. Have a nice day everyone and see you in our next live streaming class. God bless us all.